up guys? Justin Hood here, live in effect at the launch pad, um, here on the harvest, on the eve of Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, ready to rock, feels good to be home. Uh, all the way from big Brooklyn, out, out to the big Southwest, and uh, yeah, ready to rock that shit. Let's go. All right, so, um, so you're originally from New Mexico, right? Yeah, born and raised. And uh, so you moved out to New York recently, right? Yeah, I've been out there a little over a year now. Um, yeah, I moved in uh, June of 2000, well, I guess 2012. And, uh, you know, I've always wanted to move to New York, uh, being just a hip hop kid. And just, you know, I, I first went out there when I was 16. And I mean, that really just changed like my life. And I just wanted to, I knew I wanted to live out there at some point. And I finally made that move a little over a year ago. So things have been good, finally getting used to it. Um, you know, Albuquerque, New York are like polar, uh, the opposites, the, you know, it's crazy different. So, uh, yeah, and that was kind of what I was going to ask about. It was like, so what's like differences, both good and bad, though? Right. You just see, like, from New York's hip hop scene and local, you know, local New York stuff, and right. versus Albuquerque is kind of local. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the passion's all the same anywhere you go. I, I think the only difference is, is kind of like the landscape and, and the amount of people. I mean, you get that local, like, that local scene of everybody. Um, you know, and like New York, you know, New York is the birthplace for so many things. So, I mean, it, you, you'll have those artists, like those big top tier artists, but those dudes are still local. Like those guys came up from the streets. So it's like, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, but there's just so many creatives in New York. And I think that's one of the reasons people move there is so inspiring. People inspire each other. It's just like a grand hustle. I mean, it's, it's the anchor of the world for, for everything. And um, I think that was like what drew me into it. So. Um, you know, it's definitely a home away from home. I mean, New Mexico is always home for me. And anytime someone asks me, like, where are you from? Like, I, with pride, say I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Like, I think that's just always something that I keep, like, fresh in my mind, you know, when, when I'm out there, like, where I came from and, and where I'm going. Sick. So, like, yeah. how, how long have you been doing music? And then, like, what kind of motivates you to do what you do as far as music and stuff? It's a good question. Um, I mean, I've been doing music for a long time. Um, yeah. Like I, I, you know, I started, I, I got kicked out of music class in fucking middle school um, for trying to bang on the drums, like when we had to play the flute recorder. So like, I had a very discontent for like traditional music. And then um, I got a pair of turntables in middle school. That was like kind of the start of it. I used to break dance. I used to do just all that shit. And then um, I started writing in early in high school, uh, battling, rapping, just the whole traditional type of thing. And um, and then just kind of grew from it, and I think, and then I produce now as well. Um, that's kind of like, I, I really enjoy producing my own music. I feel that there's a, a level of context that you can't, you can get it when you work with someone else, but sometimes like when you make your own thing and from start to finish, from writing the lyrics, from producing the track, like it's, it, I don't know, it's, it's a grand payoff when like, you know, like I did 100% of everything on that track. And I, I, I like being able to say that when they're like, oh damn, that beat was dope, I produced that. Damn, your hook was tight. I, I wrote that, like, yeah. you know, the whole package, so I like that. Uh, so what's it like being back in the uh, Duke City and, uh, yeah? Man, I mean, it's home. It, if, it always feels good to come home. I mean, it, it's funny, like, when I, when I fly in, and it's always this feeling, since I've been a kid and I travel, I get this overwhelming feeling, like, the moment I see the Sandias, and uh, <laughs> I still, like, got, like, teary-eyed. I was just, like, so excited to come home, and, that's, and that never changes no matter, like, how old I get or how long I've, like, been away from home. Um, so yeah, it feels good to see familiar faces, uh, familiar places, um, you know, it's definitely a good feeling to come home to a sold out show. I mean, that's like, I mean, if you can't sell out your hometown, you know, that you, you got, you're not doing something right, <laughs> right. I guess. So, so, um, you know. so tonight, yeah, what, how's it going down tonight? Who, you know, who's all performing? We got Kids Next Door on the bill, got us for TAC, um, a few other caked up from uh, Vegas, I believe. Um, so yeah, a lot of good talent. Um, you know, Albuquerque's brewing. We got a lot of talent here. And um, I think one of the reasons that I, that I move, you know, back to go back to that question, like, you know, is to just like carry my talent over there. One of the things, um, you know, I've been, been working on is just meeting a lot of creative people out there and just really representing. And I think that there is a voice in the Southwest that isn't being recognized, in, in, you know, in the popular culture or in the hip hop culture. Um, and I think that really has a lot to do with how isolated we are. Even though the world is so connected now with the internet, we're still land, like we're still in the middle of nowhere. And so it's difficult for us to travel and make moves and make, take those meetings. Like you still need that FaceTime with those people. So that was like my biggest thing. Like I, you know, I want that. So.
Good. So yeah. what's your uh, what's your plans for the future of Justin Hood uh, overall, but then also what's your plans for tonight? Take over the world. Nah, I mean, my plan, you know, I'm always changing, you know, I'm always evolving. I think one thing I can credit is that I've always had a very big work ethic and um, never taking no for that answer and always moving forward and wanting to be better and be more creative. So I think that as an artist, like, I mean, I know I have a lot more to go, a lot more developing to do. Um, I just recently um, got signed to a management company called The Factory New um, that was a uh, former of The Factory, which was Andy Warhol's artist agency. Um, so I'm, I'm in a good place right now in New York, and, and I think I'm in a good place to really represent New Mexico. So. Um, I mean, next step is to get that content out there, show them what we're all about, show them what I'm about, um, drink fucking margaritas and work out. Dope. <laughs> what can I do? What can I do?